What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today we're going to be going over all the wires, inputs and outputs for your RW8CA active subwoofer. Now on the front you'll see all of the inputs, outputs and overall functions for the sub. So let's start by looking at the power terminals here. So you'll see we have a 12 volt remote and ground line. The 12 volt line would run to the 12 volt of your battery for your vehicle. The remote line would go to the ignition or accessory switch of your vehicle. And the ground line would go to the metal chassis of your vehicle. So once we've run all of these lines to our vehicle, we can refer to the lights on the other side of the amplifier. So we have the power light that will flash green once the sub is ready to go. And right underneath we have the protect light that flashes red in case anything goes wrong and we need to make some fixes. Next to the power lights we have the auto turn on switch and when this is engaged the subwoofer will automatically power on as soon as it receives power from the battery of your vehicle. Above that we have the phase switch that switches the polarity of the subwoofer from 0 degrees to 180 degrees. And this is meant to be used in case the subwoofer isn't in sync with the rest of your setup so feel free to play with this switch in case the subwoofer doesn't sound in sync. Next to that we have the low pass filter to set what low end frequencies come out of the sub. So for example, if I set this to 100 Hz, anything from 100 Hz and below will be played out of the subwoofer and nothing above 100 Hz. Next to that we have the bass boost so we can raise the bass up by 18 dB in case we want some additional low end. And then we have the input gain to set the overall level coming out of the sub. We have a great video on how to set the gain for your subwoofer in your setup. And even though the amplifier and the subwoofer are separate in that video, the same principles apply if you were to set the gain on this subwoofer. Next to that we have the remote input to connect the base remote knob to the subwoofer. So to do that I can take my base remote knob and the remote wire, plug one end into the back of the base remote knob, then plug the other end into the remote input. From there I can control the level of the subwoofer subwoofer from the front of my vehicle without having to go into the back and adjust my subwoofer from there. Next we have the RCA input to connect our head unit or music source to the sub and in case you're using a head unit or music source that doesn't have RCA outputs we also have the high level input right next to it. So to use the high level input we're going to take this high level wire harness here and plug it right into this input. Then we're going to use these wires on the end to connect to the high level output wires of your head unit. And last Lastly, we have the fuse at the end that we can easily replace just in case. Now after we have the sub all set and ready to go, we can place it underneath our driver's seat or our passenger seat. And again, we can use the mounting hardware in case we want to place it somewhere else in our vehicle. So hopefully this showed you what all the wires, inputs, and outputs do for your RW8CA active subwoofer. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.